This is WHRV News. I'm Sam Turkin. As the coronavirus outbreak upends the economy and still alters many aspects of daily life, another issue continues unabated, sea level rise. Efforts to address it are still happening. One organization is trying to make home elevation a more viable response to the rising seas in Hampton Roads. Earlier this month, 14 people joined a different type of Zoom conference. Okay, welcome to day four of the Home Raising Academy. And let's talk about home elevation. I love this part. The meeting was one of several introductory classes where local contractors learn how to elevate homes. Slides of power tools and heavy machinery scrolled across the screen. This presentation was just the first step. Teachers encourage students to observe a home raising project in person once work picks up again. John Sargent is CEO of Resilient Enterprise Solutions, which leads the training. He says right now, Hampton Roads only has two companies with the technical ability to elevate homes. We need to be able to help people tool up to meet the demand for increasing home raises so they're not all quite as infrequent and expensive as they've been in the past. The trainings are also meant to change people's views about home elevation. Sargent says some raised homes are eyesores. Using Google Maps, he shows why during a virtual drive through a Norfolk neighborhood. I'm on Surrey Crescent, and now I'm just driving down the street here. Okay. He stops at a one-story red brick house. The elevated portion is gray cement block. It looks like it's sitting on a cement block high chair. We said in our training, you should be leaving the neighborhood better than what you found. According to the Federal Emergency Management Agency, home raising has been a response to flooding since at least the 1800s. The federal government and states can help pay to elevate homes that flood. People can also decide to pay themselves. Any home raising can help 